Hey guys, I'm Mezzi and welcome to this quick start guide for normal and heroic Dark Flame Cleft. Dark Flame is one of the new dungeons coming in the War Within and will most likely be part of the Season 2 dungeon pool. The dungeon was not available for testing on Mythic, so I'll put out a separate video for that once it's available on Live or on the Season 2 PTR. The first boss is All Waxbeard. Rockbuster is a tank buster here, dealing damage and causing them to take 25% increased damage for 6 seconds. Throughout the fight, adds will spawn and attack random players, putting a stacking dot on you. You need to avoid the minecarts that zoom over the rails, but you can use them to run over the adds, instantly killing them. Luring Candle Flame will put a dot on you and cause all adds to focus you. Use this to help position the adds on the tracks. And lastly, spread out. The boss will reckless charge at the furthest player away, killing the adds in his path and causing the ceiling to cave in on everyone. So move out of the swirls from the cave in. Up next is Blaziken, and this fight is all about the candles around the room. To start with, he'll reset the room with dousing breath, putting out all candles. When you get the arrow on your head from Wick Lighter Barrage, you want to move to a candle to light it. Don't light all candles, and of course, don't stand in the swirls. Next, when inside flames is cast, move away from the sections that have lit candles. Fire will spawn there, and of course, you don't want to stand in that. And lastly, in terms of the candle mechanics, when Enkindling Inferno gets cast, you need to do the opposite. Run to the section with the burning candle. This will now be the safe zone from the AoE that will be cast. After this, the candles will be reset, and you'll do it all over again. The absolute last thing to know is for tanks. You need to stay in melee range of the boss or he'll deal AoE damage to the entire group with blazing storms. The third boss is the Candle King. Eerie molds will cause wax statues to spawn. These deal AoE damage to the group as long as they're up. You'll need to use the boss's abilities to destroy them. But before we get to that, interrupt Paranoid Mind. When you get targeted by Dark Flame Pickaxe, hide behind a statue to destroy it. Otherwise, you'll be knocked back. And lastly, when you get the circle of throw dark flame on you, hug a statue to get rid of it and don't stand in the wax puddle afterwards. The last boss is the darkness, and oh boy, it's certainly something. We might take a minute more for this one. Before you actually fight the boss, throw as much dynamite on it as possible when you're in the minecart to lower its health. The boss itself revolves around keeping the candle lit. If any of the boss's abilities hit the candle, its energy bar will go down. If it reaches zero, the candle goes out, you get feared for one second, and you get a stacking debuff that increases your damage taken by 10% and reduces your haste by 5%. You can pick up the candle to move it by using the extra action button and put it down in the same way. While you're carrying it, you won't be able to cast spells. Around the room, there will be small candles you can run over to pick them up and bring them back to the big candle. This will add few to keep your candle lit. Bear in mind though that if you yourself are not close to the candle you're not gonna do any damage or healing so be fast in grabbing more fuel. In terms of the actual abilities when you get targeted by the shadow blast circle move away from the candle. When the umbral slash line is targeted at the candle pick it up and move it out. Interrupt the call dark spawn cast quickly to have as few adds spawn as possible. And then of course do kill the adds that do spawn and interrupt their drain light casts. And lastly of course you shouldn't stand in any of the abilities that we just discussed either. And that's all you need to know for the dark flame cleft bosses. If you liked this video please like, subscribe and share it with others. I would very much appreciate it as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. You can also follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at twitter.com slash bbmezzy and twitch.tv slash bbmezzy. For now, I'm Mezzi and I'll see you again next time.